So we'll have to write the comment about the speed of the vehicle because the distance is being increased all the time. Distance does not decrease at any point in the graph. At worst, the distance would remain same. For example, here, the distance remains same. Or over here, the distance remains same. It does not decrease. So we'll have to comment on the velocity. So from 0 to 5 seconds, the shape of the graph is something like this. So that kind of shape in distance time graph represents what kind of speed? Is the speed uniform, increasing or decreasing? it's increasing so we'll say the speed is increasing and once again if the object is traveling in a straight line we can also say velocity is increasing these two would be used interchangeably and if the speed is increasing what's the other way of saying the same thing we can say the object is accelerating All right, now let's take a look from five to seven seconds. And from five to seven seconds, if it's not clear, but let me make it clear that it is a straight line. From five to seconds, the graph is a straight line. So what do we make of the speed in this portion? It's having uniform speed. Very good. Speed is uniform. no change in the speed and if the object is traveling in a straight line that means the velocity is also uniform hence there would be no acceleration but I'm not writing here that acceleration is zero because uh, although we assume that the object is traveling in a straight line it is given in the question but since it's not written over here so I'm not going to write acceleration is zero because the object could be accelerating if it's not moving in a straight line even the speed is uniform so can you answer this question if, even if the speed is uniform how can the object accelerate If an object is moving with a constant velocity, even if it's moving with a constant velocity, acceleration is zero. But in the velocity, the acceleration could be due to change in speed. It can also be due to change in direction. So we are not sure about the change in direction. If it were given in the question that the object travels in a straight line, it means direction doesn't change at all and speed doesn't change at all, then we can simply say no acceleration. But in this case, we're not sure. What if the direction is being changed? Then there would be the acceleration. Okay, from 7 to 12 in this portion. 7 to 12. What happens to the speed? Sir, uh, it's the speed is reducing, uh, it's becoming less. Exactly. The speed is being decreased, the speed is being reduced, or the speed is decreasing. Very well with this one. What's the other name for saying speed decreases? exactly it decelerates 
So let's take a look at the motion from 12 to 15 seconds. What do we make of it? Sir, the object is at rest. Excellent. Object at rest. So no velocity. It's not even moving, so there's no concept of velocity. Let's check out 50, uh, 15 to 17 seconds. It's once again a straight line, which means uniform speed. Uniform speed, very good. Okay, let's check out the last one from 17 to 20 seconds. Once again. The object is at rest. At rest. But this time I'm just writing stationary. Because they use these two words interchangeably. Stationary, not moving, object at rest. Any of these words can be used. All right, let's move on to the next one. In this question, we had to describe the journey qualitatively. We had to comment on the journey. In the next question that we have over here, in this one, we need to do some calculations. And what do we need to calculate? From 0 to 10 seconds, we need to calculate speed. 10 to 15 seconds, we need to calculate speed. 15 to 25 seconds, we need to calculate speed. And then we got to calculate the average speed as well. First question. How do we calculate speed from distance time graph? Is there any other method? The graphical method? So for example, let me break it down to you. I need to calculate speed from 0 to 10 seconds. Let me shade the part first. I need to calculate speed of this part. And if you're saying, let us write down the formula. So let me write down the formula. Speed equals to distance over time. Now what value of distance should I use? The distance is 0 at the start, it's 50 over here, it's 100 over here. What distance should I use? Sir, 100. Okay, so the distance that we use is 100 and the time that it takes is 10 seconds so distance covered was 100 and the time taken was 10 seconds so eventually the speed would be 100 divided by 10 which would be 10 seconds 10 meter per second 10 ms minus 1 so v equals to distance over time the distance was 100 and time is 10 seconds okay so keep in your mind basically it'll be the same thing if you need to find speed through distance time graph you simply find the gradient of the graph and basically the formula is also the gradient of the graph the so speed equals gradient represented by m and where did we study that let me scroll it up over here the gradient of distance time graph represents speed and gradient is rise over run 
rise means the vertical distance and runs means the horizontal distance so for this one the vertical distance was 100 you see this was the vertical distance 100 and the horizontal distance was 10 let's check out the next one we need to find the speed from 10 to 15 seconds and, and if I show it on the graph we need to find speed in this part so what do you make of this? So the speed would be same as it was before? No. It won't be same. Now there are two ways you can answer this question. You can find the speed through the formula once again. Which is speed equals to gradient and then gradient equals to rise or run. But I told you one thing, what is the gradient of a horizontal line? Zero. Zero. So if speed equals, method number one, if speed equals to gradient, and gradient in this case, gradient of a horizontal line is zero, so the speed is also zero. Method number two. If this is distance time graph, this part, what is the name? What do we know about the vehicle? Didn't we say about the vehicle in the last example? Whenever we get a horizontal line, the object is at rest. So if the object is at rest, it's not moving, the speed has to be zero. Where did we say that? from 12 to 15 seconds or from 17 to 20 seconds check it out 12 to 15 seconds object at rest not moving 17 to 20 second object at rest not moving zero speed this is the other way you can answer that up next we have we need to find the speed from 15 to 25 seconds. Now, before I do anything, let's make a comparison. This was the speed in the first part and the speed was 10 meter per second. From 0 to 10 seconds, the speed was 10 meter per second. Now we need to find the speed in 15 to 25 seconds. This is the second part. So let's make a comparison. We can solve this question in a moment, but let's compare these two. In part one, what do you think? In what part the object was moving faster? The vehicle was moving faster. From zero to 10 seconds or from 15 to 25 seconds without doing any calculation. Because if we do the calculation, obviously we'd be able to answer. But right now, just by looking at the graph, are we able to answer this question? In what part the object is moving faster? Sir, the object one. How do we know? Sir, as that line is more vertical than the second one. Excellent. That that's perfect. So speed through distance time graph is the gradient of the line. And as you have rightly pointed out, the gradient of the line from 0 to 10 seconds is higher than the gradient of the line from 15 to 25 seconds. Because 0 to 10 seconds, the line is more of a vertical, it's steeper. But we need to find the speed. So what is the distance covered from 15 to 25 seconds? No, that's a very common mistake. At 15 seconds, the object was already 100 meter mark. It was already at 100 meter mark. So distance that it covered from 15 to 25 seconds was from 100 to 150. So the distance covered is 
50 meters. Yes. And what's the time? Not 25, not 15, but the difference of these two. 10 seconds. So speed equals to distance over time. Distance was 50. Time was 10. Answer would be 5 meter per second. If you use the method of gradient, so gradient equals to rise over run. What's the rise? Rise means from the start point to this point. The rise is also 50. The run is also 10. So either way, your answer would be 5 meter per second. Are we clear with this? Yes. Okay, you see, and then in the last one, they asked you for the average speed. So what is the expression for average speed? It's like it pretty much the same, but we write this thing. Average speed equals to, do you remember? Exactly, total distance over total time. So what is the total distance, overall distance on the graph? 150. 150. And what is the total time? 25. 25. So can we hit it on the calculator? Sir, six. Six meter per second, very good. So what does that mean? It doesn't mean the object was moving with a, with a speed of six meter per second. At some uh, instance of time, in some intervals of time, it was moving with the speed of 10, it was moving with speed of 5, and at some instance of time, it was not moving at all. But the overall, the average of all the speeds is 6 meter per second.